U.S. Army Major General Harold Green was killed and several others wounded, some seriously, when the gunman opened fire at Marshal Fahim National Defense University, a training facility in Kabul. The shooter, dressed in an Afghan military uniform, used a Russian-made machine gun. He was shot and killed by others on site. It's bad enough to be shot, even in the battlefield. But the way that happened, somebody pulled a gun that was supposed to be on his side. Yeah, just terrible. The general was the highest-ranking U.S. officer killed at the hands of an enemy in a war zone since Vietnam. He was the deputy for all U.S. training programs in Afghanistan. He really believed in what he was doing over there and was really proud to serve. Pentagon officials say they believe the shooter was an Afghan soldier who'd been with his unit for some time and had been rigorously reviewed to make sure he was not a Taliban sympathizer. By all accounts, he passed the seven-step review process. The Pentagon well aware the so-called insider threat, death at the hands of Afghan troops, is almost impossible to stop. The insider threat is probably, it's a pernicious threat and it's difficult uh, to, to, uh, to always ascertain, um, to, to come to grips with the scope of it anywhere you are, particularly in a place like Afghanistan. After peaking in 2012, coalition deaths from such attacks dipped last year, in part due to new security measures and reviews. But the risk remains.